So these are the two pop-up pumps that we're going to use for our project in Guizhou. We need two because um, there is a very heavy water flow, so we can get, we're trying to optimize the amount of water we can get up to the village, and hopefully they'll be used for water in a school and some rice paddies. So the main goal of the project is to get water from a valley up to a village that's up on a hill, and so we, of course, we needed a pump, and we chose the pop-up pump because, um, first of all, they're a pump that uses absolutely no fuel or electricity, so that's something we wanted because it's environmentally friendly, and you'll see soon enough that where we're going in Guizhou is very, um, it's a very beautiful place, so we definitely didn't want to, want to pollute it with a diesel pump. Um, Here we are, end of the third day. We're at the top near the supply tank. You've got the water source in the back. I'm just gonna show you what we've accomplished. Walked through the very muddy paddy that we were digging, and as you can see, that's the pipe that goes to you know the source of water. Um, you can see the little waterfall, which really is what's um, bringing all the water over there. And this is actually only one. We have a plan. There's a stream over here and we're going to divert with a PVC pipe some more water to this area so we can have as much possible water going through our PVC pipe. So we'll have two streams connected going through. We've buried the PVC pipe just so we don't, because we don't want, you know, farmers to accidentally break it or anything. As you can see, that's the, our PVC pipe coming all the way through here, coming out through the ground over here and we have got it connected to our supply tank right here you know looking back yeah you know, that black hole is where our water supply is we have a short pvc pipe in there right now because we're, we're a little worried about the strength of the walls of our supply tank um we're scared the cement might not be completely dry yet so we will be switching it out for this longer one um, well, the villagers will when they feel like the tank is more secure. Um, and the pipe really is just to prevent the, um, the tank from overflowing. Um, as you can see, you know, we've got it very, the water level really low, so a lot of it is being drained out into this field here. So when it's taller, it'll be at the level of the top of the tank, and all the water that, you know, overflows, if there's too much water flowing through this, this PVC pipe, and it will drain out through this other PVC pipe that goes into the field and back into our water valley over there. Um, another thing is, as when we do switch in for the taller pipe that's really at the top of our supply tank, we'll have to make sure that not a lot of water is being drained out, make, you know, really make it as efficient as possible. So if a lot of it is being drained out, then we can be pumping more water down there and we just need to change the settings on the pump a little just to make sure that the amount of water that's coming in here is the same amount that is going to the pump not necessarily and then about five ten percent of that will go up to the village so we want to make this as efficient as possible so that this is gets as much these two pipes get as much water as possible and then um the the pipe leading to the village also gets as much water as possible we've got actually a really good water supply already but it'll be better when we divert the two streams together um two metal pipes of course leading down to the pump buried in places so that the connections don't crack or anything you know we really want them to last the 30 years that they're supposed to and um you can hear the pop up of the pump you know the pop up pump and the sound is really just you know pressure being pushed back as water moves through these pipes up and down um 
down at the pump. See over here, we've actually got some wooden stands, but we really need to build them better because we don't want the metal pipes to have any bend, like curve curves in them because that will cause them to crack at an earlier time. So hopefully the farmers that have been helping us, the two of them, will um, put some brick bricks underneath so hopefully they they can accomplish here kind of see through the bushes but there's the two metal coming through we buried it just to really help the pipes through the pressure because it is a lot you can hear it and here we've got the two working pipes the exhaust water coming out you know irrigating the fields yeah, we've been over there. everybody watch out and um yeah and the black pipe going through that way leading up to the village and here's a farmer with a tree trunk last video of the pumps the farmer here we are full glory quite a satisfying satisfying feeling to be done satisfying to have finished and they'll cover it up with a wooden plant yeah. and going back Okay, so our water pressure is pretty good, but hopefully we'll get some more water um, when the two streams are put together. And we definitely need a, the village needs to build a reservoir because right now it's being wasted. Um, they've got a little tank, but it's already full from rain. But we'll need a bigger tank. And so the the the, um, the pipe comes all the way down the road and it like winds around and goes down over there. That's where the pig farm is. And if you remember from the video, there's actually, it's right to the left of the pig farm going up where um, the pump is about 200, 300 meters in. It's in those rice terraces behind them. So that's, you know, right by, behind there, bringing it all the way up to the village. So it's quite, quite a good height that we're getting.